Hey everyone, welcome to Beach Investing. I'm your host, Andre Angelkowski. Uh, so we're in the basement apartment that we showed you last week because I'm posting the after video now. So last week's video was before, this is now. And Odin Harding is the owner of this property and we are in Scarborough. So uh, for those of you who've always asked me for more, uh, a more affordable house or less expensive house than those $600,000 homes, well, why not try Scarborough? It still works, as you'll see. And this property cost approximately four hundred fifty thousand, and Odain put in about seventeen thousand to twenty thousand dollars of renovations. And you'll see this is the basement apartment. You'll see what you'll you see what it looked like before, but you'll see what it looks like now. So um, I will introduce Odain back to the picture here. Odain, how you doing, man? Long good. Back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Uh, I see you're wearing a red shirt now, which is nice. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Those are the season, the winter season. Yeah, it's cold outside. Yes, it is. Real cold. All right, so what, what do we have here? Um, we saw the before picture, so yes. what did you do that is uh, different now? Uh, what's different now is now we have a bedroom or a wall we put up to divide the space here, which could potentially be another bedroom, and over here, which is the bedroom. Big enough to fit two side tables, a clean bed, and it has a closet over here. So the potential client can put whatever clothes they need. It's big enough. Okay. Yep, so the windows. Uh, but pretty much on this side, that is all that was done. Uh, the wall here. There's a surround sound system here, so the speakers were replaced from where the wall actually exists now to a few, about a foot and a half over, as you can see on the wall over here. Okay. And uh, pretty much everything is the same, the TV's still here, Yeah. they just need a receiver to hook up the, the speakers. Okay. Um, I left the carpet here, planning to change that to laminate. Uh, it's not in the greatest shape right now, I was planning to let one tenant in, but after speaking with Andre, I believe I'll probably change that over immediately. Okay. You know a good flooring guy who can change that, right? Yes, I do. All right. Yes, I do. Uh, coming into this space, uh, originally, this was the, the, the passageway to get upstairs. So we separated that now, and there was carpeted on the stairs. I ripped off the carpet and painted it all white. So what can that be used for now? Maybe like a... Uh, a, sh a shoe rack shoe or something. Rack. Eh? Yeah, it could be used as a shoe rack, and they also have more storage space under the stairs here. Okay. And just put a quick shelf in there so they can put whatever they need to. Nice. Uh, oh, this looks here. This looks different. Uh, yeah, much different. Uh, I got everything here tiled. Uh, put in the kitchen. Uh, I did the backsplash. Me, and my friend, and my dad did the backsplash herself. Uh huh. New hot appliances here, the stove and the uh, hood fan. So what do the appliance cost you, this, the stove? The stove costs 400 and I believe the hood fan costs slightly under 100 Okay, and where'd you get the stove from? I got the stove from the brick. Okay. Boxing day. All right. Uh, the light fixture was an existing fixture from upstairs. So I switched one from the kitchen upstairs and I brought this one down here. Okay. And... Uh, Pretty much, this is what we have. We have the wall that was put up here to separate the utility room and the space right here. Uh, the dryer, I got at a discounted price at Habitat for Humanity. So is that a good place to shop? That's definitely a good place to shop. So Habitat for Humanity? Habitat, yep. Okay. And the old kitchen, didn't you, uh, were, were, what did you do with the old kitchen that was in the bedroom over there? The old kitchen and a couple of the doors, I donated to Habitat for Humanity. And I got a $400 tax receipt, it took about a week. So the way they work is when they get your stuff, after they sell it, they look at the value that they received from your, 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 your old belongings and they write you a receipt for what they got. Oh, okay. Yeah. Coming along here, uh, I painted everything a different color. Yep. It's uh, Sherwin-Williams Kestrel White. Oh. And that's my color for all rental properties from now on. It actually looks really good. Thank you. I put up this uh, this coat rack. Yep. And that's about it. The air return used to be here where the closet was, and now it's been moved to 
close to the ceiling, up here in the bulkhead. Okay. Yeah. So when we finished off, we finished off a boat right here, and there used to be a wall right where you're standing yes. that separated um, this room, which was used to be the bedroom. Yeah, this used to be a bedroom. Uh, the closet was in this area, and uh, basically I got the hammers out and started bashing, and <laughs> now this is the end result of all the hard work. Okay, so this this pro this basement apartment that we're in, which is that's that's the entrance, didn't really change. No. Uh, this is a one bedroom, but it could be a two bedroom, right? Yes, it could easily be turned into a two bedroom. So, what are you anticipating the rents to be? Um, based on its current condition, I'd say about nine hundred to nine fifty. Uh, when I get the laminate done, I estimate about a thousand a month. Okay, and. Uh, the upstairs, you're getting approximately how much for rent? Fourteen hundred. Okay, and down here, nine hundred to a thousand. So you're looking at anywhere from twenty-three hundred to twenty-four hundred dollars for this property. Yeah. And you bought it for four fifty, yeah. and the renovations cost you close to twenty thousand. Yes. So you're cash flowing. Yes, I am. Excellent. That's the main line. All right. Congratulations, <laughs> Odin. All right. Thank you, Andre. Well done.